Art Bowden, fellow journalist, welcome to Dallas. Thank you, Bobby. And congratulations on Black Hawk Down. I haven't read the book. I try not to read the book until I've seen the movie, and mm -hmm. then I go read the book. <laughs> so now I'm looking forward to reading the book. Good. Obviously, if you're touring around uh, on behalf of the film, uh, you must be somewhat pleased with the way it turned out. Mm. But can you tell me if, if the accuracy is there or if you had to make a lot of concessions? I think the accuracy is really there. This movie is probably the most authentic portrayal of modern soldiering that's ever been made. And in part, it's because they were working on, you know, working with material from my book, which was very thoroughly researched. But uh, in, in even a larger sense, they had the cooperation of uh, the Defense Department. So in some cases in the film, the stunts, uh, the men roping out of helicopters, the maneuvering of the helicopters, are being done by uh, members of the same units that fought in this battle, and in some cases, some of the same people. Uh, and they also had on the set two of the uh, men who were instrumental in, in fighting this battle, who were there every day to ensure that even very minor things about the uh, film were, were done as accurately as possible. Of course, a book has to be condensed. Are there <coughs> some things left out that you wish were in the movie? Oh, yes. I mean, there are scenes that I wrote uh, that I would love to have seen in the film. I can think of one in particular. There is a scene in the, in the um, book when the first Black Hawk crashes. It crashes into the house of a Somali family, and this boy who uh, was home at the time runs outside, and he ends up sort of cowering underneath of a car throughout much of the firefight that takes place in the street. And I return in the book several times to this little f figure you know, crouched under the car, which I thought was a really uh, a nice touch for humanizing, you know, the terror of that experience. I, I would like to have seen that in, in the movie. Uh, but, and there, I had, I, there were so many things that I would like to have included, but one of the first things that we did when we made the movie, when we started talking about how to turn this into a film, was draw up a list of all of the things in the book that absolutely had to be in the movie. And that list quickly got so long that we realized that unless we were going to make a five, six-hour film that there was no way we could ever accommodate it all. What is Somalia like today? Well, Somalia today is unfortunately uh, very much as it was in 1993. It's a country in anarchy, uh, well-armed anarchy. I always tell my sons that if they ever run into any fashionable campus anarchists that they can tell them from me that they don't have to wait. They can go check it out. Uh, roving bands of uh, heavily armed gunmen pretty much uh, doing what they want, organized uh, under feuding warlords. Uh, there's fighting going on in the city of Mogadishu and throughout the country almost every day. If you go to the hospitals in Mogadishu, you see 10, 11, 12-year-old boys all shot up because they're given rifles and sent to do the most dangerous fighting. So it's a, uh, it's a dreadful place, uh, badly in need of some kind of uh, government and stability, but uh, not likely to get it, unfortunately, anytime soon. So was the UN troop and so were the UN troops and the U.S. troops there in vain? No, I, they weren't in vain because we intervened in December of 1992 to end a famine uh, and literally save the lives of hundreds of thousands of people, maybe even millions of people. And so that alone was certainly worth the uh, American intervention. Uh, the efforts, unfortunately, to create some kind of stability and a coalition government there failed. And in that sense, you know, all of those lives and all of that effort that were put into trying to make something happen for the Somali people uh, fell short of what we would like to have seen. But certainly, um, I think the lives of the men who fought there and the, and the uh, commitment that the United States made was worthwhile, admirable even, and, uh, and I think we can all be proud of it. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, you are ready. All right. What is Somalia like today? It's about as bad as it was when we were there in 1993. Okay. Oh, you want me to go on no, further? No, that's fine. Okay. You ready? Were the efforts of the United States and the UN troops then in vain? I don't think so, no, because the uh, intervention in 1992 saved literally 
hundreds of thousands of lives, maybe even millions of lives. So even though the effort to create a coalition government there fell short, I think that our intervention is something that we can all be proud of as Americans. Yeah, that's fine. That's a wrap.